Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft PowerPoint 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to embed and link to Microsoft Excel content. Let's get started. So let's say that you're working in PowerPoint and you want to add information to uh, PowerPoint from an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, I have this PowerPoint presentation right here. It deals with equipment replacement and over here I have the Excel file that's related to it called least or least cost. And so this is the payment schedule. So there's a couple ways to embed content into um, PowerPoint from Excel. And uh, the first way that I'm going to show you here is uh, using PowerPoint. And so in PowerPoint, typically I leave this closed. I don't have it open when I embed the content. But um, I go right here to the Insert tab and then we go over here to the text group and you click object and after you click object you can either create new or create from file I'm gonna choose create from file because I have the Excel content already created and then I go right here to browse and then over here on browse I navigate to the file which is right here on my desktop so least cost is right there I click OK now to embed the content in all I have to do is click OK right here and you'll see that the content will be embedded in. Now, as you can see, this actually takes a lot of the spreadsheet and I'm only interested in this top left corner. So if I wanna just see that top left corner, I need to double click on it and it's gonna open up Excel uh, tabs in a, we're still in PowerPoint as you can see in the top left, but all you need to do is take these uh, sizing handles on the corners and sides and kind of move them up so we just get the content we're looking for. So in this case, it's a little hard to do. It's not exactly super accurate, but that's what I'm looking for right there. And so I basically adjust just like a sizing handle like you would a picture or a chart and you just move it up to the perfect spot. And then you click away and there we go. It basically cut the rest of that out and now I can increase the size. And so there's my Excel content put onto PowerPoint. Now, one thing to note is that this is embedded content and uh, it is not currently linked. So if I go into Excel and I open this up and I say change the interest rate from 5% to 6% and press enter, I could save this and close it you're gonna see it did not update over here. Okay, so this content is not what you would consider linked content, okay? And so uh, it doesn't update, so uh, now we're gonna look at the option so that it does update. So that's embedding your table right there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close this, and then I'm gonna open back Excel, and I'm gonna switch this back to 5%, okay? Just for the sake of, um, continuing with the same exact table. All right, so now we're gonna learn how to link content. And so there's there's a way to do this uh, that I'm gonna show you first, and I'm gonna show you how it looks when you do it. If you go to the Insert tab, and then you go to the Text group, and you click Object, then you can create from file just like last time. You choose your file location just like last time. So these are all the same steps that we saw in um, <clears throat> embedding, but the only difference is right here you click Link. Okay, so this says it'll insert a picture that links to your uh, co file contents in your presentation. You click OK, and you'll see, boom, we get the same thing as before. Now, the difference between this one and before is if I double click on this, it's actually going to open up the file in Excel. And so I see the file right here. And so I say, all right, I'll change this interest rate to 6%. And I press Enter, and I close it. And I can save it right here. And now you'll see if I zoom in, it says 6% right here. The only problem is is that this one uh, doesn't allow you to resize. So those black sizing handles that uh, appeared before, they're not on here. And if I decrease the size here, you'll see it actually makes it even smaller. So that's not going to work. So I'm going to show you a workaround on this. And so to link the content and have it be just the content that you're interested in, uh, all you have to do is you open up Excel, you go into your file, and then you highlight just the area that you want, and then you do a control C to copy. Okay, so that's going to be control C to copy. Then you go back into PowerPoint, and on the PowerPoint slide, go to the Home tab, and in the clipboard group, there's the paste arrow, and that's right here, paste arrow. And you click the paste arrow, and then you go to paste special. Okay, this option down here at the bottom. And then from here, it's going to open up the Paste Special dialog box. You go right here to Paste Link. 
okay and that'll link the content and it says Microsoft Excel worksheet object and then we click OK looks good there's six percent right there now over here we have it listed as six percent if I change this to five watch what happens five percent there five percent there so if you update your Excel sheet let's say this says four it updates right there as four and then if I close this and I save it you'll see it stays right there as four percent so it's linked content but it also shows up in a manageable size so now I can resize that content to the right uh, or the correct size and easily be able to edit it just by double clicking opening it up in Excel and changing it to whatever I want it to be and that will allow me to have that content linked within Excel. So we learned how to embed it, we learned how to link the content, and we even learned a paste special way to link the content so that it updates in the correct size so that we don't have to see the entire spreadsheet. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment section. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch and have a great rest of your day.